the end of week five is here. And I think it's going to end on an exciting note because guess what? We're back with another episode with All Smoke, All 32 with Aaron Givens. Now we have the Chiefs and the Raiders at Arrowhead division matchup. So you know it's going to be either a great exciting one or we're going to have one of those field goal games or we might just have one of those dang what's on TV because this team is not going to win. You know, and from looking at both of these teams coming off of good wins, uh, I, I, I can honestly say history-wise, Chiefs just own the Raiders winning the last 8 of 10. Um, Jacobs, though, on one hand, looking at him and congratulating him on coming off of a career day uh, over uh, 100 yards, 144 yards, a, a, tug, a tutty, um, and um, looking definitely to move it into this uh, game. Um, Chiefs, as all, though, looking so groovy, uh, really just stepping up and um, giving uh, Patrick Mahomes time and just offense just flowing good, uh, defense looking uh, pretty uh, stout. I mean, the fact that the Chiefs did what they did against statistically the number one defense in the league uh, in Tampa Bay. That was uh, pretty impressive. Now, the one thing that we actually have to look at is that we know we have Patrick Mahomes, but they also can run the ball. And the Raiders are a pretty good run defensive team, only allowing 3.9 yards per game. So uh, I think the biggest concern looking in this when it comes down for the Raiders, is that Carr cannot find Waller. He's only had two catches for 49 yards, and they're paying him this money. They want him to produce, but they need to find something. More so McDaniels needs to find some way to get Waller the ball. Um, Raiders definitely have to look at a team that does not have a tight end issue with Kelsey coming off another great game scoring a touchdown just under 100 yards receiving. Um, and, you know, I really, really feel anytime you play the Chiefs, as long as number 15 and 87 are on the field together, you got to count, you know, for 87. Um, I, I, I feel this matchup is not going to be more of so one of those bore fests but it's definitely not going to be as high scoring as we expect it to be. I think that a, a couple touchdowns are going to be scored on each side. And I believe the Raiders coming into this game know they have more to gain than to lose. More so that if they win this game, it would be back-to-back -back division games. And even though they only would have two wins under their belt, two division wins, I mean – no division losses, you're looking playoff bound. Uh, remember Seattle, only winning six games. And they went to the promised land in regards to the playoffs. And they actually beat a decent Saints team doing it in the playoffs. So, you know, anything is possible for a team to go ahead and make the playoffs and, and at least make a run when you could beat your division opponents. And uh, that's what I got. I got the Raiders in the upset tonight, 31-28. That's all I have for this episode of All Smoke, All 32, and I can't wait to see you for my week five reactions and my week six pick. See ya.